Welcome to the tutorial on adding image to a video. In this tutorial, we will learn to add an image to a video, resize the image, change the opacity, position the image and adjust the duration of the image. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 18.04 OS and Blender 2.90.1 To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Blender interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have saved all the input files in the videos folder. Let's add an image of Big Bucks Bunny to the video. The image was downloaded from the website shown here. He is a character in the Blender movie project Big Bucks Bunny. I have already opened the Blender interface. Click on File Open to open the input project file. From the Videos folder, choose the Add Image.Blend file. Click on Open to open the project. Notice a video and an audio track in the sequencer panel. Select the BBB image file from the Videos folder and add it above the video strip. Adjust the zoom level to convenience. Move the image strip to about 10 seconds in the video. I will also place the playhead at any position on the image strip. Then the image will be visible in the preview panel. The image is enlarged and fills the preview panel. The video in the channel below is not visible. Let's resize and reposition the image in the canvas. For this purpose, click on the Add tab. Then select Effect Strip Transform. The transform strip gets added on top channel of the image. Select the transform strip. Go to the settings for the transform strip in the sidebar. If this panel is not seen for you, press the N key to show the panel. Scroll down. X and Y position of the image can be changed and the image can be resized. Place the cursor on the position X field. Left click, hold and drag or use the arrows to change X position of the image. Notice the image moves laterally in the preview panel. Check the box for uniform scale. This scales the image in X and Y proportionately. Reduce the scale value as seen here to resize the image. Still, we do not see the video from the channel below. In the Strips tab, under Composting, Click on the Blend Options. Notice the several options listed on the right and the effects on the left. I will choose Alpha Over. Now the image can be seen above the video. It is large and is seen across the screen. Reset and position the image inside the white region of the video. Learner may adjust the position and size to your desire. Pause this video and practice positioning and sizing of the image. Scroll down. The image can also be cropped with the crop function. First, check the box for crop. We can crop from left, right, top or bottom. Notice the changes in the preview panel. The image gets stretched. This is due to image scaling. 
learner may rescale the cropped image to their convenience. Pause this video and do the following. Select the image strip. Select the strip tab in the sidebar. Check the box for offset and crop. Crop the image in all four directions and observe the changes. Scroll down to the time section. Select the image strip. You may set to the exact frame number desired for start using the start field. Similarly, the desired duration can be set using the duration field. I will use the handles to set the desired start position and duration. Notice that the transform strip also moved with the image. Notice the numbers for start and duration fields change as this is done. Next, let's add an arrow, rotate it and change the opacity. Load the arrow image, which is saved in the videos folder for me. The image is enlarged and is seen across the screen. The arrow is on the channel above that of Big Bucks Bunny. I will place the arrow above Big Bucks Bunny image in the time course. If the image gets added in another channel, please move it as seen here. Let's click on Add Effect Strip Transform. An effect layer gets added above the channel of the image. The video in the channel below is not visible. Select the image strip and move it to position around time 10 seconds. Notice that the transform strip also moved with the image. Select the transform strip. In the strips tab under composting, click on blend options. Notice the several options listed on the right and the effects on the left. Again, I will choose alpha over. Now the image can be seen above the video. It is large and is seen across the screen. Adjust the position to resize to your desire. Let's check the box for uniform scale option which is above scale. I will resize and position the image. First, I will rotate the arrow for the arrow head to face down. Pause this video, then position and resize the image as seen here. This may take time for you to practice. Adjust position X and Y to fit the image in the white background area. Let's change the opacity of the image. You may zoom in on the preview panel for closer view. Opacity option is seen in the composting section in the strip panel. Currently it's at value 1 and let's decrease it slowly. Notice the image becomes more transparent and the opacity is decreased. When the value of opacity is at 0, the image is not seen. Now it is completely transparent. I will change the opacity to 1 and the image is seen again. Let's adjust the duration for the image time position. Pause the video and explore and familiarize with more options. You may save the project render to an output file and quit Blender. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we added images to a video, resized the image, changed the opacity, positioned the image in the video, and adjusted the duration of the image. For assignment activity, please do the following. 
using an image of your choice or by using the provided image add an image to the video change position and resize adjust duration crop the image and change the blend style the video at this link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it the spoken tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates please write to us please post your time queries in this forum spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this is rani from iit bombay thank you for joining